Hey everybody, I hope everyone is doing well. It's been a little minute since I put out a video, but I'm gonna get better. <laughs> I know I say that all the time, but I am. I'm going to get better, I promise. It's just, you know, life be life in sometimes. But anywho, today I'm back because I'm going to be doing a Trader Joe's haul. I thought this would be a fun little video um, just to show you all what I get from Trader Joe's. Um, sometimes I like to try out some of the new products and new things that they have. So we're going to see what I grab this time. If you guys are interested in watching the rest of this video, definitely stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So the very first thing I got was the chicken, the mini chicken tikka samosas. And I've never actually had these um, from Trader Joe's before, so I'm really excited to try these out. I have had the samosas before. I think it was the vegetable kind that I had before, but um, I recently tried chicken tikka masala, which if you guys don't know, it's, it's a famous Indian uh, dish. Um, but yeah, it's an Indian dish and I really like it, so I wanted to try it out in the samosa form. So inside of this, it has chicken, vegetables, Indian spices, and it's wrapped in a crisp, flaky pastry. So really excited to try those out. The next thing I got was some multi-grain waffles. Um, I am such a waffle person. I like pancakes too sometimes, but most of the time I'll be eating, you'll see me eating waffles majority of the time. So let me go. Are you guys a pancake person or a waffle person down in the comments below? The next thing I got was the organic brown rice, which I really love this stuff because it cooks so fast, literally in three minutes in the microwave. Um, and it's just really good for those nights where I don't feel like doing a lot, you know? So um, got the organic brown rice. I also got the white jasmine rice. Hold on one sec. The uh, organic jasmine rice also to go along with that. Um, when I'm on my healthy girl stuff, I eat the brown organic rice. But when I'm on my, you know, my cheat day, it's definitely the jasmine rice. <laughs> Next up, I got the premium salmon burgers from Trader Joe's. This is my first time actually purchasing this. So I'm really excited to try this out and see what it's about. Um, my mom said that she really likes these, so I'm gonna test these out. It's a good way to just switch up, um, you know, my burgers. Usually I get beef burgers, but definitely want to try these salmon out, so I'm excited for that. If you guys have tried this, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be interested to know. Um, the next thing I got, I re-upped on the crumbled feta cheese. I love using feta cheese on like my egg scrambles with like spinach or kale, usually with kale, um, with some lemon, some garlic, maybe some red peppers, some tomatoes. I love to um, have that and then I'll sprinkle some feta cheese on top. Feta and mozzarella is by far some of my favorite cheeses. There's another one also that I'm forgetting. I think it's Parmesan. But yeah, definitely got to re-up on the feta. Next, I got the vegan buffalo dip, which I think this is new. I've been seeing this a lot circul circulating around online, so I'm excited to try this. I have had the buffalo chicken dip um, from Trader Joe's, and that is like, oh my God, hands down, 10 out of 10. It is like so delicious, so good. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to try the vegan version of that, the vegan buffalo dip, which is really good because I've been trying to be on my plant-based girl stuff throughout the week. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm fully plant-based, but I will say that I do try to adopt some plant-based um, meals into my routine regularly just to stray away a little bit from meat, from having too much meat, having meat all the time, you know. Um, that's just me, personal preference. But yeah, so that's gonna be interesting to try. Oh, goodness. It's been a day, you guys. Like, okay, first off, the Trader Joe's that I go to is literally like, the Trader Joe's that I go to is literally like 40, I would say 45 minutes to an hour out. 
So every time I'm on that side of town, which is in Tampa, I live in Tampa, Florida. Well, I live in um, like 40 minutes out from Tampa. Um, but when I go to Trader Joe's, there's only one in Tampa. So uh, no, there's, well, yeah, there's only one in Tampa. And then the next one is in St. Pete, but I rarely go to that one. I usually typically always go to the one in Tampa. Um, but yeah, Trader Joe's, can y'all like put another Trader Joe's somewhere in Tampa, preferably like Wesley Chapel, Newport Ritchie, like, come on, what are y'all doing with the Trader Joe's? Like, we need more Trader Joe's on our side of town. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah, so I have to dry. So whenever I'm out that way and I'm like in the mood to do some shopping, I definitely have to hit up Trader Joe's because, you know, I can't just regularly go to Trader Joe's, like as if I were staying like five, 10 minutes away, maybe even 20, 25 minutes away. I have to drive, like it's literally like a road trip to get to Trader Joe's. Um, so I try to make sure I get everything that I need while I'm out there. But back to this little grocery haul. The next thing I got was the organic stone um, ground yellow corn taco shells. One day this week, I plan on taking the salmon the salmon burger and like cooking it but like chopping it up in small pieces and trying it with the taco shells so that's going to be like my little salmon taco um a little salmon taco night i'm going to try out with that next thing i got was some pink salt definitely need more of that because i'm almost out of the one that i have now and i also needed some more honey so i got some organic honey i love uh I love using honey on like my yogurts and my smoothies um, and my teas, my drinks. So yeah, definitely got to keep that honey on board. The next thing that I got for these Trader Joe's plantain chips, which I've never had these before, but I hear a lot of people talk about having these as like a snack. So I'm really excited to try these out. The worker at Trader Joe's, he even recommended, um, he recommended the jerk version. He said there was a jerk, jerk seasoning um, plantain chips that they had. So I'm excited to try out the jerk version as well. I might have to get that next time around. So yeah, I'm really excited to try these plantain chips um, to have as a snack. I'm such a chip girl, like I need my chips, okay? Like when I go to the store, I have to get me a bag of chips. I don't know what it is. I just love chips, I'm just a chip person. Um, okay, so the next thing I got was some sriracha sauce. Um, last week or a couple weeks ago, me and my best friend, we decided to meal prep and we wanted to use sriracha sauce, but we went to Aldi's and they did not have any sriracha sauce. Well, they had a brand of sriracha, but it wasn't like sriracha, sriracha, you know? So I um, decided to get this sriracha sauce because I find that this is really good to put on like bowls and vegetables and stuff like that. So I'm excited to try this out. I also got some yellow baby potatoes um, because once again, I don't wanna call it a diet. I don't even know what to call it. My plant-based era, let's just say that. <laughs> so I'm in my plant-based era. So I had to get the yellow baby potatoes um, because I'm gonna be making these with some of the vegetables that I make. So I'm excited for that. I also got some shredded potatoes just to switch up my breakfast because I have been doing like a lot of yogurts, a lot of, um, what else? Uh, like cereal, a lot of granola and oats. So I'm like, you know, I need to add some, some other form of nutrition into my morning diet. The next thing I got was the steamed chicken soup dumplings, which I've had these before. And when I tell y'all, they're so freaking amazing. Like I literally love these, like these are so freaking good. And honestly, I was watching Queen Nyja and Clarence video that they just recently put out. And um, Clarence, I got these from Trader Joe's with this chili oil. Now I wanted to get the chili oil sauce, which he said he got it from Whole Foods, but um, I didn't have the chance to go to Whole Foods tonight. So um, I tried to see if they had some sort of chili oil in Trader Joe's, which I did not see any. So maybe tomorrow I'll try to go to Whole Foods and get that chili oil sauce that Clarence was talking about because he said that he usually eats these with the chili oil sauce. So. That's the reason I really got these. Plus I haven't had these in a long time, but I'm excited to try that out. Um, those two together to see what it tastes like. And yeah, I had to get two of them. <laughs> I had to get two of them um, because yeah, like why not, you know? I love dumplings, they're so good. 
And then I got the vegetable fried rice, um, which I really love this. Typically when I don't feel like cooking or making anything, it's so um, convenient to just throw this in a pot um, or the microwave and, you know, have your food in less than 10 minutes. So love that. Also had to re-up on the Japanese um, style fried rice, which I absolutely love. These are so good. Um, it comes with edam edamame, two, oh shoot, I can't even talk right now. It comes with edamame, tofu, and hajiki seaweed. Um, and I don't know, this is just so freaking good. I love making these and snacking on these. They're so quick and easy and just so good. So um, that is it for the grocery side. Now I did get some flowers. These are the flowers that I ended up getting from Trader Joe's. Um, these are the eucalyptus flowers and I love these because they just smell so good. They bring such a fresh scent to um, your area, to your space. And I just love these. I typically put these in my shower. And yeah, when I'm showering, it literally feels like I'm in a spa. Like, I absolutely love it. It brings me so much peace. And yeah, I just really love eucalyptus. So. Anytime I get a chance to go to Trader Joe's to get me some eucalyptus, I definitely re-up. They last usually about 30 days before like the um, scent starts to go away, but I really love the Even after the 30 days, um, the scent's still there. It's kind of mild, but it's still there. So even if you wanted to use them, you know, for decoration um, instead of the scent, you can definitely do that. Oh, looks like there's something on these. Oh, it's just a little leaf but yeah so um definitely got to make sure that i keep me some eucalyptus eucalyptus flowers um just to have that fresh scent and also it's good for your immune support i believe like your breathing your lungs it helps to clear um like your lung pathways and your breathing so you can breathe easier um and yeah really love these can't wait to put these in my shower and take a shower with these tonight um and last thing this isn't from trader joe's this is from bath and body works i um went to bath and body works earlier today with my mom and i got this waikiki beach coconut whipped body lotion and i'm so excited to start wearing this because when i tell y'all this stuff smells so freaking good like it literally reminds me of Waikiki Beach, which is a beach, if you guys are not familiar, a beach in Hawaii um, that I actually went to uh, maybe two years ago. I did a video on that. If you guys want to go check it out, it's uh, called My First Time in Hawaii. I think that's what it's called. Or my first trip to Hawaii. Or is it solo trip? To my first solo trip to Hawaii. <laughs> Um, but in that video, I did go to Waikiki Beach and you guys could see that. So I'm so excited to have this Waikiki Beach Coconut Body Whipped Butter. And yeah. Oh, it smells so freaking good. Oh, got a little bit on my nose. <laughs> it smells so good. Like, oh, I love this stuff. Like, it literally smells like freaking amazing. Oh, yeah. If you guys like like it smells like you can definitely smell like the coconut but it gives like that caribbean like tropical like scent so i really love this so if you guys are interested this is the waikiki coconut um body butter from trader joe's so yeah definitely check it out it was 18.95 so um yeah i can't wait to put this on after my bath tonight and yeah so my trader joe's haul everything came up to 73 dollars and 40 cents um all i gotta say is screw inflation but nonetheless i'm glad that i was able to get all of my favorites from trader joe's and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and stock this stuff up in the fridge i hope you guys enjoy this little um grocery haul and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.